Malware stands for malicious software. It is created by cybercriminals to harm the user's computer. Some malware are created to gain financial help, while others are to destroy data. In this video, you will know about different types of malware and how anti-malware stops them. Before we start, press the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Adware. Adware are created to serve advertisements on the user's computer. You will see pop-ups, browser redirects, hyperlinks, advertisements in unusual places. These ads promote malicious and fraud products. The malware creator gain revenue based on the clicks or views. Usually, adware records the user's activity and act as spyware also. How anti-malware catches it. Anti-malware uses the signature-based detection method to catch adware. The security professionals flag the adware networks in the virus database, and whenever it is found on the user's computer, the anti-malware catches it. Bot. Bots are created to perform a series of actions automatically. It is used to perform DDoS attacks to get access to servers. Also, it can be used to auto-render and clicks on the ads to benefit its creator. The bots are used for other useful purposes, such as indexing websites for the better search result. How anti-malware catches it? To catch the bots, anti-malware analyzes the behavior of all programs. When it detects a repetitive action, it blocks that program. To stop the bots on the websites, users take the help of capture services to filter bots. Ransomware. Ransomware encrypts the user's personal and confidential data with strong encryption methods. It demands the ransom for the decryption key. It is almost impossible to decrypt the files without the decryption key. Cybercriminals ask users to pay the ransom in the form of Bitcoin, which security officials couldn't trace. How anti-malware catches it? To catch the ransomware, anti-malware uses behavioral analysis. Security software uses sandbox technology, a virtual and controlled environment, to analyze the behavior of malware. So if the action of the program matches the ransomware, it blocks that program. Rootkicks. Rootkicks are created to provide remote access to a computer without getting detected. With the rootkicks, the hacker could remotely execute files, modify system settings, alter the software, even security software that is meant to catch it, steal confidential data, or could install another deadly malware. How anti-malware catches it? It is difficult for traditional antivirus to catch the rootkits. The rootkit anti-malware need both signature and behavioral-based detection methods. Patching the security loopholes and vulnerabilities with the latest updates removes the chances of the rootkit infection. Spyware. Spyware is used to track the user's activity without their knowledge. It actively monitors the actions taken by the user. It records your browsing history, search history, financial details such as banking logon, details or credit card details. Keylogger, another type of malware, collects the user's keystrokes. All this information is sent to its maker using the internet. How anti-malware catches it? To catch the spyware, anti-malware uses signature and behavior-based detection. Anti-malware also monitors the internet connection and filters the spyware. Trojan Horse Trojan Horse, or Trojan, enters the user's computer as a normal file or program and performs malicious tasks set by its maker. It can give remote access to the hacker or steal confidential information. It can even download severe malware or act as spyware. How anti-malware catches it? Anti-malware uses heuristic analysis and sandbox to detect the Trojan. If a program takes a suspicious action, 
the anti-malware execute it in the virtual environment and analyze its behavior. Virus. The virus is a type of malware that can copy itself and spread to other computers. It spreads by attaching itself with other files. If there is a virus on your system, it can't take any action unless the user executes it. The viruses can delete or corrupt the system files and make the computer unusable. How anti-malware catches it. To catch the virus, anti-malware primarily uses signature-based detection. However, for some complex viruses, anti-malware also uses behavioral analysis. Worms. Worms are similar to viruses. While the virus needs the user's action to spread, the worms don't require that. The worms could have payloads that could damage the user's computer. It can spread on its own by exploiting the network or system vulnerability. It is designed to overload the web servers by consuming bandwidth. How anti-malware catches it? Anti-malware needs a signature and behavioural-based analysis to catch the worms. It also needs to have a network monitor feature to catch it, since worms spread through the network usually. These are common types of malware. Regular antivirus isn't capable of catching all these threats. A modern anti-malware, which has the behavioural analysis along with the signature-based detection, could catch all these threats. The anti-malware should also support cloud-based scanning and sandbox features. Malwarefox anti-malware contains all these features and works efficiently on all these types of threats. It uploads the suspicious programs to the cloud for scanning so that your system runs smoothly while the scan is going on. To protect your system from all these different types of malware, install Malwarefox anti-malware on your system. The link is in the description. If the information in this video helps you, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. We keep uploading such informative videos, so press the bell button to receive the alert when we do that.